Today I am making a bird and a wing. For the first time, I'm making them both at the same time. They've always come at different times, but this is the bird. His face, body. And then here is the wing. This is from a fence post. It's got hundreds of years in here, very tight grain, old growth redwood, found it on the beach. Works like butter. Using a crooked knife, Hans Carlson axe. This is a kestrel crooked knife. And I can make shavings like butter. Slowly, it will take shape. I carved it with an axe, it was square, I measured it to shape. I saw, huh, I have a bird that is very close to the same size, but can make a curved wing. So I made it this way. And I thought, yeah, that's kind of cool, but I have another one that's made this way. Ah, there we go. Yeah, now he's flying. So I take away everything. It doesn't look. It does not look like a bird wing. Sometimes it carves really easily. Other times it doesn't. When it's really hard to carve, I just stop and go somewhere else. There is no point carving in a place that is not pleasurable to carve because the whole thing is pleasurable to carve. Right now I'm making a finishing cut with a very hooked blade, but it still makes a nice flat shape. A planing cut. And then from that point, I'm going to make this surface one uniform curl all the way down and this will be the inside shape underneath the wing. Right now I'm at Canyon Creek, Ripstein Campground, a place called Dedrick. GTS, Google that shit, look up Dedrick, California. Right now there is snow melt gushing in the background. An unrelenting torrent of water rushing down Canyon Creek. Okay, so that's pretty smooth. There's nothing else to take there, so I'm going to flip it around. Look nice. Gives a nice finish. Now I'm going to integrate this one. And pull this all the way down. I want to go all the way to the middle now. We got finished cut. And don't worry, I have a tourniquet right there. In case you are worried about my safety. If I slash some part of my flesh off, I could at least stop this blood flow with tourniquet. And now that's the underside, pretty well smooth. So now I will go to the outer side. And this will just cut like butter. Look at these cheeks just fly right off. Cutting like butter. These are sixteenth inch chips coming off right now. That thing was a quarter inch. <laughs> Too much fun. Too much fun. Now I'm still just making overall shape. Go on the top. 
car in the background is going to Junction. No. There's a trail, a trailhead for Canyon Creek Lakes. People are going to Canyon Creek Lakes. And from there you can go up and there's still snow in the mountain. I saw snow yesterday. You can go up to two Canyon Creek Lakes. You can go up to Sockeys Ridge. Up and over to Emerald and Sapphire Lakes. This is where I found an 80 year old cache of miners goods that was left under a rock that we were hiding under because of a rainstorm. So we took refuge from this rainstorm, no tarps, no nothing, middle of summer. I found this oil cloth with bear traps, some kind of additive for petroleum product that said 1926 date on it. And a big old hook that I think was part of the traps. If you caught something you wanted to whack it in the head with a hook. So it didn't get up to the pizza. So you see, I am just whacking away shavings upon shavings. This will take a few hours. And I have the time because I'm just listening to the water flow off the mountain. I'm Kenyan Tree, signing out.